Hey guys, it's Karen and I just wanted to talk to you about doggy teeth cleaning. Um, I don't hear of many people that actually do clean their dog's teeth and there's been many programs on and men lots of research done that show that it's definitely better to use, you know, like a little finger tooth brush or a dental chew than nothing, but the best form against preventing decay and preventing them needing an operation is to use an actual toothbrush. We've actually gone a step further than that and we use an electric toothbrush, well a battery operated toothbrush actually on Watson and the reason for that is we found we knew that it would be more effective and there would need to be less actual brushing. So if you think with a toothbrush, you're gonna to have to brush backwards and forwards, up and down, try and get into you know certain crevices and move the toothbrush around. Whereas with an electric toothbrush, you can just hold it and move it across the teeth. Um, so we figured that might be more bearable than a toothbrush and it's worked out to be the case. He's definitely much happier with um, a battery toothbrush than he is with just a normal toothbrush with us just brushing. Um, so I have a video showing you him having his teeth done, which I'll put at the end of this. Um, and you'll see at the beginning of this process that he didn't, he was scared to even be in the room with an electric toothbrush. Then you'll see that he was okay being in the room, but he would sit on the sofa and he would sort of move away from it if it was close to him. Um, and then we very, very quickly progressed from taking a couple of weeks to sort of acclimatise him to the toothbrush to one day my husband just decided to try it and he was absolutely fine with it. Um, but the way that you train them is you would start by, it's the same way as I trained him to not be frightened of the hoover and of the blender because those are two things when he was a puppy that he was pretty scared of. Basically find the highest value treat that you can. For Watson it was cheese and I got pieces of cheese and I would just be in the room and let him know that I had cheese and so hold the toothbrush, let him smell that I had cheese and then just sit on the sofa um, or go near him. And like you see, at first he was running away. I only did that for, to show you on camera. I wanted it to be his decision. And then I would sit and wait and his brain would be ticking over, you know, going, well, she's got cheese, but then there's this scary noise and he would come into the room um, and then he would sort of tentatively go towards my hand and he would snatch the cheese away and run away. That gradually became less, like I said, to where he would come in the room and he would snatch the cheese away and I was moving closer and closer to him, keeping the toothbrush on. Um, and it then got to a point where I would put the toothbrush on my hand, vibrating, and I'd have the cheese next to it. So when he took the cheese away, he could feel the vibration of it. Um, we then progressed from that to putting it onto his paw in order for him to have the cheese. So I would put it on his paw and hold out the cheese and he would pull it away, but then he would be like, okay, in order to get the cheese, I need to do this. It's just a conversation with them and taking it at their pace, which, like I said, it took a couple of weeks for him to get used to the point. He was at the point where I could put it sort of near his mouth and then give him a treat and he was absolutely comfortable. I would have then perhaps put it in his mouth without buzzing it, but like I said, my husband said, let's just give it a go, um, and we did, and he was absolutely fine. He actually preferred it to the normal toothbrush. So I would urge you to give it a go, because I know there's a lot of people that say they don't clean their dog's teeth because, well, my dog doesn't like having their teeth cleaned. My dog doesn't like being brushed. No dog likes to have their teeth cleaned. You know, that's just one of those things and I'm sure we would never bring children up to not clean their teeth so I feel like it's something that's really it's a really essential part of looking after a dog because you're preventing them needing an operation and needing to go under anaesthetic and going through the trauma of an operation um, and certainly after Watson's recent operation his, his first operation was fine but his second operation second operation to remove a lump and to have an x-ray um, was quite traumatic for us he didn't recover very well um, he was quite ill afterwards and so I'm so glad that hopefully the one thing we can remove the need for is to operate to clean his teeth so yeah I hope you find this useful if you've got any questions at all on on this then please leave them in the comments below and I will speak to you again soon
No, we have to put your arm on that side, is there? What's his worst bit? What's his least favourite bit? It's this one's this big here on the other side. At the back? The back, yeah. I think because it, I think because it tickles all of his gums out of his inside of his cheek. Yeah. What a good boy, Watson. Good boy, yeah. Is it? So it's obviously just because of my severe right handedness and angle that I'm trying to pull these guns back, but that's a good boy. What a clever boy. Oh, boy. Wow. That's a good boy. You've got toothpaste on your muzzle. Oh, finished now, little guy. It's time for your treat now. <laughs> <laughs> 